have we got here with Dr. Day? Rocky outcrops and sheltered valleys are really important parts of the landscape for biodiversity, but they're also important for people who've been living in places like this for thousands of years. They use them for shelter and for ceremonial purposes. Now, let's go over here. I want to show you something really special. The local Ngemba people believe that the ancestral creator, Bayami, created this stunning landscape with help from the Goanna, the Echidna, the Emu and the Kangaroo. Gundabuka was just one of many places that Bayami made when he was creating this country. On his travels, he also created the waterholes at Bayrock and the fisheries at Brawarana. After the landscape was created, Guga the Goanna laid down to sleep right here and Mount Gundabuka was formed. Thikabila the Echidna also laid down to sleep and formed nearby Mount Oxley. These mountains, the Yander Creek and the Darling River, form an extensive travel network linking with other Ngemba landmarks. Long ago, the Aboriginal custodians of this country would travel on foot along creek lines to get from place to place. These days, people travel similar routes by car, on roads and highways. The same links continue to be important. And here, under this rocky overhang, we can see some of the oldest artwork on the planet, carefully preserved so everyone can come and see it. If you take a minute and let your eyes get used to the shadows, you can see many layers of artwork connecting people through time. The Aboriginal people made these paintings using natural materials such as pipe clay and ochres. Like Western art, these rock art paintings are very much treasured today. Tools for daily life were important for everyone. The artwork on the rock shelters show the skills of the traditional owners. There are also stencils of other tools depicted on the rocks. Access to good food is vital for a healthy life. In the old days, there were plenty of emus, as seen in the rock art. These days, it is often easier for Aboriginal people to buy what they need to stay strong, but bush foods and medicines are still important. It was important to dance whenever people celebrated. The shake a leg dance was performed all over this country when people got together for ceremony. <laughs> 